Welcome to the Traditional Bow Hunting and Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkowiak, and today we're going to take a minute. We're going to talk about milkweed and wind detectors from this. Um, it's an idea that's uh, not nothing new. Uh, Dan Infault's been doing this forever. You can see it uh, uh, in his videos. That's where I found out about it from. I don't know where he got it from, but it's an amazing thing. These milkweed, these little fluff that comes out of the milkweeds, when you let them go from your stand, uh, they carry in the current, and they'll carry 40, 50, 60. I mean, they just keep going and hovering and floating on the current, and you can see, and that way you can see what's going to happen. You can see what the wind's doing up high where you are, and then as it starts to fall down, you can see if it's going to do something different or if the thermals are going to take it, or you can really see what it's going to do. It's better than a, a puff bottle, um, you know, talcum powder type uh, wind detector kind of thing, which fades out really quick and disperses. These fluff from these milkweed pods go for a long time. You can find milkweed in a lot of places here in Michigan. We got it all over the place. It's along almost every road, um, dirt, two track, things like that. They grow every place. And you got to pick them kind of early. Um, I picked uh, I picked all the ones I needed within the last probably two or three weeks. Uh, once you get to about this time, about mid-October, what ends up happening is they'll already start to open up and that fluff dissipates and goes all over the place, and then they're no good to you anymore. So you need to pick them before then. Uh, usually late September, um, you know, mid-September through the mid, mid-October mid is a great time here in Michigan. You'll have to look for your area. Um, but what they are, these are the pods. To uh, This is a milkweed pod right here. And basically what's in here is a ton of fluff, which I'll show you. Uh, but you see these and they're growing on, on, you know, they're on a, they usually run probably three, four feet tall. And basically they're, uh, you get four or five pods to a plant basically. And uh, all you do is you pick those. Now there's some white sap. Once you pick them, this comes from the stem, there's white sap. Um, with that sap, don't get it in your eyes. It's supposed to not be good for you. Okay, as far as getting in your eyes, it'll burn and stuff like that. But you pick this, that little bit of sap drips out for about 10 seconds. Uh, so like I said, be careful, it's real sticky. But once you pick these, I just throw them in a bag and I collect them and I save them. And then uh, you can basically keep them indefinitely if you keep them, if you're not too rough with them or throwing them all over the place where they'll open up on you. But you can keep or you can carry a milkweed pod as it is as a wind detector. Like this one you can see is actually already starting to open up. You can see all those seeds in there. In a second, I'll explain to you how to make this work. But you could technically pick this milkweed pod like this put a rubber band around it and throw this in your pocket and carry this for the entire season and when you need to take one of those out you basically just pull that seed and here you can see i'll put it against my gray shirt which sorry i'm wet uh, i was pouring rain earlier when i was coming in but uh, you can see that milkweed pod right there is one of those seeds and then you just let that go in the wind and it just flows and flows and flows so you could do that all day long just put a rubber band right around this when you need it open it up pull one out and let it go I do it a little differently because when I carry these in there, they end up getting broken in my pocket and this stuff starts end up ending up all over my pocket. So what I've been doing for the last couple of years a little different is I pull that stuff out and I put it inside of this match container, this waterproof orange match container, which we have right here. You can see all that fluff in there. That's milkweed fluff. And I basically just stick it all right inside this thing and pack it down. And then once it's in there, I put a hole. It's got a little flap on there just because it, it just keeps it from coming out in my pocket. Uh, just a piece of tape where it's held only on one side. This is, you know, taped over itself and then it's there. So it just kind of flaps. But basically then all I got to do is just reach in here and I'm trying to get where you can see it. But I just reach inside here, grab a piece of fluff, pull it out and let it go. And you can see against me, the wind just it just goes wherever, you know, it, it works perfect. And you, as you can see in there, there's always a little more ready to go. So it's just like a Kleenex box. You just keep pulling as you need it. One of these will last me almost two whole seasons. I can fit three uh, three good-sized milkweed pods in here uh, stuffed full. So it works like a champ. I've been doing it like this for a long time. And uh, I'm actually... I'll uh, bring you in here and show you how the process of it, um, how it's done, and I'll also show you some other container ideas and things like that. So I'm actually making a couple right now. Uh, Dan Rudman, who you guys have heard on the podcast, him, where he lives at, he doesn't have these over by him in Kansas. Or he doesn't see them very often. Um, so I told him when I come out there, I'll bring him some and get him set up. So I'm actually making right now, I'm just uh, making him a set for those. So I'll show you how it's done as we get you in there. Okay, now container-wise, you saw my match kit that I use, that little uh, waterproof match container. Those work like a champ. These I bought, I'm going to try. I just want them to use to make Dan's. Uh, I figure you can get a little bit more in one of these probably, and so it'll last him a lot longer of a time because, again, he doesn't have them by him. So I figured he could hold more in there rather than just giving him the loose pods too. So I got these. These were 6 bucks at Dunham's, plus you get the 20% off. 
uh, if you're a Dunham's member. So it was not very much money, like four, you know, five bucks basically, or you know, about for these three, all three of these. Now these do not have any scent in them. These are tinks. Uh, just sent containers and wicks that you put whatever you want to in them. I basically took those and I pulled the wick part out So it's basically just an empty odorless nothing in it completely cleaned out bottle um, Basically, and then what I did is I just drilled that same hole in the top I used a 3 8 drill bit seems to be the perfect size to keep them coming out like you need them to But I just did the same thing as I did on mine put that screw hole in the top of there Drilled or drilled that hole in and put that piece of flap tape on there and now we're stuffed that you know I'll stuff that full screws on and that becomes his uh you know his set of milkweed wind detector kind of thing but like i said these will probably hold a little more for him so get him through if he uses a ton of it at least get him through a season or two and he won't have to worry about replacing it till i can get him more of them if he needs them so that's the reason i went with that i think it's going to have a little more room in it you can do anything you can even do this like here's something i, I thought about doing with um but just a uh, dewalt little tool container you can use a tin from anything but just drill that hole in there and you're set throw it in your pocket you're good to go so it doesn't matter matter what you use um, to uh, to make this with it's a real simple process now as far as because like I said I'm gonna make that one for them those two are set the milkweed itself what you have here is the milkweed pod and when you open the pod you see in here hang on I'm trying to find where you are and talk and look at it but you can see in here all that white fluff in those brown seeds um, now I want to get rid of the seeds but I want to keep all of that fluff so basically what I'm gonna do here is just gut this right out of this pod. I'm just gonna take all this right out of here and hope I don't lose it, like this. And then, so as you can see, I have all this right here in my hand, all that, uh, all these seeds and all this pod. Now I'm gonna grab it, I'm gonna basically just scrape all those seeds off there into here. They come off pretty easy. So I'm just scraping the seeds, trying not to lose all the fluff, and pulling the seeds out, fluffing, trying to get them off. Trying to just get rid of all the seeds. Now you're going to lose a little bit of the fluff, but as you can see, not a ton. Just trying to get those off there. Usually they work a little better than this. The bigger ones got a little more handle to hold on to on the other end. A little longer stems to them. But once you get those off like that, then you just take all that leftover milkweed, and you can see I still got a couple seeds on there. Not a big deal. I'll pop those out. And then I'm just going to stuff all of this into this bottle. So I'm going to set it right here and just start shoving all this fluff into there just like this. There's a couple more seeds I'm going to take off. And there we go. Now we got one stuffed in there. Right there like that, stuffed in there, and I can fit a bunch in here. I'm probably going to fit three, I'll probably get four pods into this container here so it's filled up. So I'll show you again with another one. Um, just throw the seeds, like I said, I'm just using a bowl here. Uh, here's another one. I'm going to open that up. You can see it just splits open. I'm going to pop that open, and I'm going to take those seeds off. Of there's what I'm going to do. I'm going to scrape all those seeds off that pod. So I'm just working it backwards. Kind of pop them free so the seeds pop off. Pulling that right out of there. Just getting the seeds. Just like that. And now some of these bigger ones We'll have on the inside, they got this piece of, it feels almost like a rag, a piece of cloth, a, a, like a little muscle in there on the inside right here. If you can, I try and get that out or when you're putting it in there, try and pull that out so you don't put that in there just because there's no reason for it to be in there. You don't need it. Um, if you, you know, the bigger ones got, they get pretty big on there, you know, kind of thing. So you want to not put those in there if you don't have to, but then just take all this, minus those couple seeds and stuff it right inside of here. And then what I'm doing here, I left at the top, you can see here's that, that inner core that I was just talking about sticking up right there. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to kind of pull that right out of there just so I don't leave that in there as much of it as I can. It's not going to hurt nothing, but it's basically just what everything's connected to. So there it goes. It pops right out. Throw that in there. But now, so that is filled with two pods in there, which you can see. And then basically same thing. You're just going to close that up. 
I don't, I'm going to put more in this so it's not done, but then you'll pull that through the top. You'll just get that to fish right up in there, pull it through, and then you'll be able to pull those weeds right out of there and take them and then just let them fly. And there you go. And then you're set. You put that right in your pocket and you're in business. So that's milkweed, basically milkweed wind detectors. There's nothing better out there that I've seen or used or found and uh, it's just a phenomenal setup. Like I said, you can find these milkweed things here. You, I'll bring you in and let you kind of see them, but you can get them, you know, I get, these are what I collected this year. Those will last me for a little while right there. Um, but basically just simple milkweed pods and they make for some amazing wind detectors. So hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and I'll be back with more stuff soon and we will talk to you later. All right, bye.